Do we really need to join that league? Man's mash up the whole of South already. I think they got potential to win it. 100%. Don't come with all that YouTube stuff. Make sure you're not tapping your wrist, boy. Then you're all sick, man. You're a hater. You're a hater, man. <laughs> Spencer's calm, like. He's not, oh, you can't play for Bay Tees. That's never, ever been the case, like. Like, something Devs always says, his medals always rust, but memories won't. All right, people, we're back. And look, we've got a special, special guest, you know. Listen, I've got him <laughs> all the way from East London. Yeah. <laughs> East London himself, Mr. Alex Teniola. How we doing, bro? You good? Come on. I'm good, man. How are you, bro? Yeah, I'm all right. Been? I'm all right, man. I'm just trying to be like you, man. You know, Mr. Mr. Big Time over there. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm big time, bro. I'm calm. Listen, <laughs> guys, people, people that listen, I've been chasing this guy. He's been in America. He's been in Essex. He's been all over the show. I'm like, yo, I can't even keep track of this guy. He's everywhere, man. <laughs> So now I've managed to got him. I've got him only for a little small window. So again, people appreciate the time that we've got with this big time celebrity right now. Okay, guy, bro. we'll be back again, bro. Don't worry about that, bro. We'll be back again. Uh, yeah, you could though. Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. Can't complain. Like I said, bro. I'm alright, man. Six, six, six. So how's the six, season six, going? I know, I know, we've only like kicked off, but how's the season gone so far? Like, you... it's been an interesting one, man. Like, obviously, last season was was mad. Like, obviously, we've done really, really, really well. So we set a really high standard. Um, mm. But obviously, we've gone into a new league. Obviously, it takes time to adjust. Some players have left. Some players have come in. So, you know, it's just... I think at the moment, it's just a gelling process at the moment for us at Hashtag Lat. And, um, you know, obviously, with our fans, they, they, they're like... They don't wait. Like, they want us to be going over head kicks and doing a magnet and doing all this straight away. But that's just now how football goes. You know what I mean? From season to yeah. season, see how it is, bro. Like, it's never the same. Like, I, I, the first club that comes to my mind is Liverpool. If you look at Liverpool, obviously, they've lost certain players, but every year, you always have to freshen things up. And even when you do freshen things up, it doesn't always work straight away anyway. So, yeah. I think it's a normal thing that we're going through at the moment. Obviously, we, we've only lost one game in the league as well. But obviously, it's a lot of draws, but we're still, like, we're unbeaten in the league. No, yeah, we've only lost one game in the league, so... It's not, it's not as bad as it looks. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, not as bad yeah. as it feels anyways. I feel like, yeah, there's a bit of a, like, we feel like we're not doing as well as we should be. It's like, right, it's, it's a new league, man. You've just got to take it all in. That's um, what I'm saying. It's a new league. You've already gone up a step as well. So, like, people need to relax. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thing there, but me. How have you found it overall, though, being there? Because you've been there, what, two two seasons now? Yeah, already? it's coming up to the second season, yeah. It's coming up to the second season now, like, it's been sick, man. It's been sick. Obviously, like broke a lot of records for myself personally last year and for the team. Obviously, where it was there, scored my 150th goal um, in a title winning season. Won 21. We got 21 wins, not 21 games unbeaten. 21 wins. Um, you know, like we set a lot of records, man. So it was, it was quite sick, man. I think overwhelming as well because a lot of a lot of things going on at the same time and the fact that it's all documented the fact that I've vlogged the whole season it's there in it like it's one of them ones I'm never ever going to forget it like never going to forget and I don't feel like I'm even over it in a way like I've been able to fully fully live live it live it out the way it's supposed to be because with Devs and the gaffer that 21 win it was like we beat a team 4-0 it's like he'd never get over gassed in it. Like, we're not allowed to get over gassed. So it's just, okay, cool. On to the, ne on to the next one. You get it? On to the next one. Yeah. If you come to the change room sometimes, you'd be like, what the? These lot just won a game. Like, they're not even like jumping off a dart. Because Devs <laughs> always brings us back down to size, bro. Straight away. It's like, it's just one game. Like, it's only three points. You might score four goals. You might score three. It's only three points. And we're just like, okay, cool. You get it. <laughs> and it's onto the yeah, next yeah, yeah, yeah. You need that. You need it's that. Because when you got... no, 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 it's a good mentality, man. It's a good mentality, and it, and, it, and obviously that's why we're here today, and that's why we're able to talk about these things and talk about what we've achieved and stuff. So it's sick, man. Can't lie. Yeah, was I was amazing. gonna say like we're just in the room that you've got. Like you had PK in there. You had Jermaine. Obviously, yeah. he's left now. Like all yeah. of those people, all the characters in the email yeah. was in there as well. Yeah, like you put yeah. someone who's like a calming head, just like you know what, guys. Chill yeah, out, yeah, 100%, 100%, 100%. Of course. Obviously, we're, like like you said, you mentioned a lot of characters. Obviously, I'm a character myself. So, obviously, mm. at times, bro, they were just looking at us like, how the hell have I got all these clowns in my changing room? <laughs> 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 but it's obviously a sick guy. Like, we bonded. Like, that's my family. All the guys you mentioned, PKE, man, Jermaine, 
those were my brothers for life now, do you know what I mean? And that's what football does, man. It brings everyone together, do you know what I mean? And when we achieve so much like that, you know, like something Devs always says, his medals always rust, but memories won't. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, we're always we're able to create those memories and they're going to be there forever. So, those are my brothers for life, man. We went to war together, like, game after game. And it's like, you got to remember, we're from the YouTube world already, playing for Bay Tees and SC Dons and all these. When, when you're a YouTube team, these teams come like it's FA Cup final every single game. So, having to deal with that every single Saturday... As you get it, it's not a joke, you know, and we rose to the occasion, man. Do you know what I mean? Every single time, every single Saturday, we rose to the occasion. We we didn't let ourselves down. I was gonna uh, say, what yeah. is it like? What is it like um coming against these teams like that who yeah, just they, really want to come for your head? They just want that that exactly the same exactly the same as Saturdays. No, it's exactly the same as Sundays, bro. Like if you ain't on it, it's long, bro. Like if you're not on it, it's long. But obviously the, the players are I'll say Better because you know Sunday league you have guys that are just there for fun. Like these men are there because they actually want to be there. Do you know what I mean? And and play. They're playing for their club. Not that people don't want to be there on Sunday because obviously when you wake up Sunday morning you want to be there. You're playing with your friends, but it's a bit different. So it's like you've got that pressure and then you've got the whole YouTube team and you've got man talking crap before the game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't come with all that YouTube stuff. Make sure you're not tapping your wrist, boy. Da, da, da. Just all that dead bad. And I'm like, mate, you're a fan, bro. You basically watch the games. Like, if you know all of this, you watch the games, bro. Yeah, so exactly. Like, I just felt like last year we always had the mental edge over people in the first 10 minutes of every game because it was like, you're there talking shit about YouTube, bro. We're here to play football. We're actually footballers as well. Like, forget all the YouTube yeah. stuff. I'm actually a same professional footballer. Like, so is PK. You play football for ages. So it's like, you're going, you're putting your hardest tackles in. You're doing this, you're doing that. Before you know it, one of your players got red. Before you know it, one of your players... Before you know it, we scored a goal. Do you know what I mean? Just because you're not concentrating on the game, you're concentrating on trying to make an impression and trying to not get moved to by a YouTube team. Do you get what I mean? Like, <laughs> you're forgetting that you're actually kicking ball. Like, it's just... It's a joke, man. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We love Where did it, that man. celebration come from, anyway? That... What, Tignola time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took me through the origins oh, of that. Where did it come from? Bro. I can't... I always have to tell this story, bro. When I was at Tunbridge Angels, yeah, I was playing the Conference South and um, the chairman's son, Rob Churcher, because I was scoring goals. Like, I think my first goal for the club, like my first ever conference goal was in the 89th minute, I think it was, or the eight, between 80 to 90th minute, basically. We won the game 1-0 <clears throat> as well. My first ever game in a conference, scored. Sick. I think I played against Bromley. I think I scored last minute as well. Concord, I think as well. I can't remember the clubs, but I scored like three games, 89th minute. And then, yeah, the chairman's son, just like, oh, like we were talking before the game. Da, da, da. Then he's like, yeah, man, it's a Teniola time. I'm like, oh, it's got a little bit of a ring to it, sort of thing. And then, yeah, since then, I've just kind of stuck with it. Like, I got a lot of stick over the years because. Football's obviously grown now, but bro, like obviously a lot of people, I'm like I'm ten years in this. So back then, yeah. having a slogan and having all of that, people look at you like, who the, f like, who the hell do you think yeah, you are? Well, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like so obviously I went through all of that. I went through all of that, got a lot of stick, got bare stick, 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 but I still stuck at it, man. Hashtag Teniola, hashtag and then before you know it, if I sign for a club, they're saying Teniola time signed. Da, 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 yeah, I see every club, every club yeah, that uses it. Like, every time you sign for someone, they use it as well, isn't it? Every club, bro, they use it in the papers. They'll use it, like, the local papers, whatever club, they'll use it. So I'm like, this is sick, man. Like, before, they didn't want to, they didn't want to, they didn't want to let me do my thing. But now, it's like, it's that saying, isn't it? Like, at first they hate you, then they love you, then they hate you again. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, mm. <laughs> that's just what it is, bro. Everyone, everyone just started just, Getting on with it now, do you know what I'm saying? Just like getting on with it. It's, every time I play against a team or play against another manager, it's like, yeah, man, make sure you're not tapping that wrist today. Make sure you're not tapping that wrist today. Do you know what I mean? But it comes with pressure, though. But I love pressure. Yeah. Like you will know that about everyone. Will know that about me. I love pressure. Pressure makes diamonds, man. And that's that's the thrill I get in it when I'm playing football or whatever I'm doing. Pressure is is everything to me in it. So I'll talk smack before a game just to get myself riled up. I'll say Tenny all the time and all these things just to get myself riled up. And obviously, if you've got a, if you've got a slogan and you've got these things, you've got to be able to back it up. Do you know what I mean? And I back it yeah, up. Yeah. Check the rest of it. 
check the resume. You get it? I back my chat. <laughs> but yeah, man. Hey, I got, I got. I should, I should answer the start this with this at the top. Got two quick questions for you. First one: Have you ever told someone to Google you? That's mad. No, no, no. I saw this the other day. That's crazy. No, no, no. I've never told someone to Google me. I've, no, I've never. No, no. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's. I've hey. heard people say it though, but that's crazy, man. I don't. Like I said, I'm not big time, bro. I've. I'm proper. I'm not. I'm not big time. I can't. If I wanted to be, I reckon I could be, but I'm. I'm proper not. People think I am, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm just confident. I'm confident that I'm gonna. That I'm confident in my ability. That's what it is. But I'm not like obnoxious like that's obnoxious to me what do you mean you? <laughs> what the... that's crazy bro oh man crazy. people if you're listening in and you don't realize what i'm talking about go go check my page basically i yeah, filmed man. the game the day. someone told <laughs> told the opposition to google them and then just had yeah. a bit of a shock so i was dying yeah was just dying. note to themselves don't do that ever again but um Sunday yeah evening, next one i want to know uh who's better out of you and shady <laughs> I told you I got one. Uh, you know what? Man. You know what? You know what? Cue the clip, man. Cue the clip of him blazing it over the bar, bro. Muzzy, Muzzy opens up. Lovely through ball. Shady, 3 0. Oh my god. How am I calling 3 0? Yo, we need a replay of that, please. At this point here, because I knew my boy was going to slot this in the back of the net. He puts it over the bar. <laughs> Hey, love it. Joke, man. <laughs> big up Shady, man. Big up my cousin, man. Hey, he's too funny, bro. He knows, man. Like, all these boys know as well. You know the worst thing? He used to talk so much crap about me yeah. before. Boys, isn't it? Say, oh, he's not that good, man. He's not that good, man. I went and played a match with him, yeah? I scored a hat trick. Yeah. <laughs> nah. All these boys are like... <laughs> Hey, Shady, shut up, man. Bro, you're just a hater, man. Tell you all this sick, man. You're a hater, you're a hater, man. <laughs> he didn't know what to do, bro. He's just busted up. I said, yeah. You're chatting crap now, they Low, bro. But yeah, man. Nah, man, that's, that's cousin, man. That's my cousin, bro. Nah, big up, Shady. Bro. Big up the whole Gang FC as well, man. Yeah, big up Gang FC, man. man. <laughs> uh, um, we'll talk about Baytees now, right? So let's move on to Baytees. Like, first that's things first, I haven't seen coming. you play for Baytees in a minute, man. What's going on? Yeah. You can't play for them due to hashtag or what? No, no, that's not the case, man. I can play for them, but it's just last season, like, we were going on such a good run that mm. it was like, I didn't want to X myself because because of what we've done the previous year mm. in terms of that like, National Cup and all these things. It took a toll on my body because I was playing Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, and because it was yeah. so thick, it was like, I'm playing with all the man them, like, and we were killing it. We was winning bare things, BSE, we beat everyone that year. Do you know what I mean? And it was like, mm -hmm. but my body took a beat in, bruv. Mm -hmm. Like, so I was like, and then it took me a lot, it took me a while, even <clears throat> with hashtag last year, it took me a while to get going. So if you realise, yeah, yeah, yeah. the first few games, I was playing, me personally, I feel like I was playing well, but I weren't scoring. Yeah. I weren't scoring. So it was like, oh, man, like this, this, my body's kind of taking a bit of a hit with this Saturday, Sunday stuff. So let me just chill because the team's winning. So we've got a good team here. The team's winning. Mm -hmm. I'm playing well, but I'm not scoring. I need to be scoring, innit? So I need my, I need mm -hmm. to give my body time to rest. So I just thought, let me just take a little bit of a, a, a chill pill from Sundays for a bit. Did you get it? Let me just chill from Sundays. And then before you knew it, yeah. Bro, Saturdays was just booming. And I was just like, I got to wait up here. Now, my missus sometimes complains as well that she's got to have my son by herself and all these things, you know, you know how women can be, bro. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me spend a bit of Sundays with my son as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear my that. Son. And I'm getting, I'm getting the best of both worlds with hashtags. So I'm still in the public eye, you know, at a, the biggest YouTube team in the world. Let's be real. Like, so... Mm -hmm. I'm getting the best of both worlds. Let me just chill and just do what I need to do. Obviously, Bates is still family. If they're doing like any other videos or anything like that, I was ready to be there or whatever and do what we need to do. But we weren't really doing videos like that. So it was just, they were just focusing on the solely on the Sunday. So there's no, there's no, Spencer's calm. Like he's not, oh, you can't play for Bates. That's never, ever been the case. Like I know a lot of people think that, but nah, that's never been the case. It was just a personal decision for me because we were doing so well last year. Like, let me just, you get a focus on, on, on Saturdays. 
Yeah, fair enough. Right, yeah. What have you made of like the new regime now at Betis? Now Billy's no longer there. Tommy's taken <laughs> over. Talk to me honestly uh, now. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Obviously, I like the youngest that have come through. Like, obviously, you've lost a bit of character. Like, the, but that, but that was happening before then. Anyways, I think the characters in the team kind of going down. Like, it's not the same as it used to be in it. Like, in terms yeah. of characters, but it's hard, isn't it? Like, obviously, everyone goes through that. Like, Essie Don's is a bit the same now as well. There's not really that many characters there, but you'll see the man and them come on the side, anyways. And Big G and Straps, they're there every week, so you still got characters in them. You got Boogie that'll be there every week as well. You, you still got certain characters that are not maybe not on the pitch, but they're still there and in and around it. So I just feel like I just think like with Baytees as well, it's the same. Now it's just you got some ballers, you got so like they look tenacious, like aggressive. You get it, like mm. proper. They look like they're gonna do stuff this year, but you just take a hit on the characters, isn't it? But what's, what what is making up for that? What's making up for that is the content side. So Joel Mensah, Mark. You get it in there, them and are going hard with the content. Like, I'm even going to be doing content with them as well. So they're going hard with the content side of things, which is good. So it's keeping up with, with, with that side of things. And that's where the characters are coming from. So it doesn't necessarily need to have the characters on a Sunday in the morning anyways. Like, as long as them and are winning stuff, that's that's what people want to see. People want to see you winning stuff, innit? That's just how YouTube is. If you're not winning, people are going to have something to say. You have to be winning true. every week, as crazy as it sounds. True, true, true. Now, mm-hmm. mateys, I thought... Back in the last season, yeah, I thought yeah. they would have joined the SFL London, man. What, what happened? Yeah. Put me through. Do you think they should have? Do you think they should have made the jump? Come on, man. Be honest. <laughs> um, I think it's a tough one. It's a tough one. There's not a lot of East London teams in there, isn't it? It's very South no, London. Based. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's very, very heavily South London based. So I'm just thinking, having to travel to games early in the morning, all. The- the man them having to leave East London and go all the way to South, like pretty much every week, I think is is not fair, in it, and and it's um, unreasonable as well. It's not it's not unrealistic even. I don't think it's it's yeah it's unrealistic. So it's difficult on that front. But bro, I would hundred percent want to join that league. But it's like, do we really need to join that league? Man's mash up the whole of South already. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like well, why do we need to see it in league format? Obviously, league different, debatable. You butt man again, but but I don't know. I kind of had my reservations on it just because I feel like with the bigger teams, it takes away from it takes away the anticipation aspect of it and stuff like that. Like if SC Don's play Betis again or whatever, you might not be able to drag out a two thousand crowd or whatever because you're playing them every week. Do you get what I'm saying? Remember, remember, they only play each other once, innit? So, again, it would have been uh, Beatties yeah. versus Sidon's once, once, Beatties versus oh, the one. Wall once. So, okay, but I hear what you're saying. Playoff the thing, though, would, as you got, a fan, you got the playoffs. You but there's a playoff, it. though. There's playoffs, though. Yeah, yeah, okay. There's a potential playing exactly. off twice, maybe. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, so, you could potentially play each other twice. But I just feel like that kind of takes away from it. But, definitely, I, rec- I reckon it's... um If there was, like, a neutral meeting point, like, neutral neutral pitch to meet where it's like you're not getting all the way to south every weekend then cool then I think maybe I would have been like yeah no 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 man's got to go for this but I don't know man it's hard it's very hard isn't it but it's it's, it's heavily south London based bro heavily but is that because like that's where most the majority of the YouTube teams are because again like let's face it in in Beatty's league there's only Beatty's Brook have now mm. come on board. Yeah. Hatch, like it's only free. Whereas South, everyone's got a camera now. Everyone's filming, like mm, so. Mm, mm. It's true. Do you think that's the reason why? It's true. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. I guess so. And that, and, and that, that's just how it goes, then, isn't it? Like it's one of them ones because there's there's too many South teams. Then there's no point in joining that league, innit? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but you can't put let that put you off, man. Like look at look at the matchups, man. Look at the potential that they was like. You, only, you guys only played under the radar the other day. That's that's been five years in the making. You could yeah, have seen yeah. that. You could have seen the wall. Could have seen who yeah. else is in there. Highgate now. Like you played them in the final. Yeah. Like, so many good games yeah. that you could have had week on week out. Yeah, that's no, true. It's true. It's a lot though. It's a lot. I think I think it would have been good. <laughs> I think it would have been good, but it's a lot though because those are some big teams, bro. Playing them man every week, once a week. Hey. See, you would have to be on your game every single week, Dan. That would have been and like a, week, a big game every week. 
every week. Yeah, it's true. It's true. That's why I was like, I was 50-50 on it. I was like, yeah, man, you know what? Let's 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 go into this this league and, and do what we need to do. But then at the same time, I'm like, uh, even for myself, would I want to wake up every single weekend and go drive all the way to South? That's long, bruv. That's long. That's long. I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't want to be doing that on a Sunday, bro. So what about what about the league that Baitis are in right now? What was the predictions for this season? Do you reckon they'll win it this season? Because it's been a while. It's been a minute since, you know. It has been a while, but from what I've been watching so far, I think they got potential to win it, one hundred percent. I think that they could they could do what they need to do. You might see me feature, maybe. I don't know. I'm not making no promises, but maybe. See yeah. how it goes, but yeah, yeah, we have maybe we'll see in it. Like I don't know, I'm not gonna make no promises, but yeah, like I reckon, yeah, they could do, they they could potentially win it, yeah, 100. percent Okay, okay, I'm, I'm taking that as a yes. Then I'm gonna yeah. come back to this and be like, yeah, you said that they're gonna win it, so yeah, if they don't yeah. win it. Down mm-hmm. to you, bro. 100. <laughs> What's <laughs> next for <laughs> TV, though, bro? Nah, I appreciate, man. Come on. Anytime, man. What's next well, for what TV? What's next for TV? What's next for me? Oh, yeah. You know what? I've been tempted to throw my name into the ring in terms of getting a team together, man. One day. Yeah? One day. One day. I'll just, I'll just go throw it out there, innit? Throw it out okay. there in the atmosphere, man. You know, there so... You never know. One day you might come teams. across uh, Roots FC or something like that, you know? <laughs> There's always space for new teams, boy. Of What's course, your last question, bro? Oh yeah, last question. What's going on with you then? So I saw the notice that you've uh, you're gonna become a full time content creator. What's that looking like now? Yes, yes, yes. So um, yes, I decided to go full time. Um, obviously, um, people may not know, but I've been doing like I've done like commercial features. I do like Instagram takeovers with brands. Like basically, being the face of brands is what I like to do. Consistent yeah. face of brand as well. So I, I like to like, um, I've worked with Nike, Adidas, Sports Direct is where you'll probably see me the most because I work with them quite a lot. Uh, mm-hmm. Very recently, Skechers. So yeah, the whole so new Skechers thing. Yeah, I've been working with them as well. So yeah, just basically just want to just like actually utilize my network as much as possible. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm in a good place to do that now. Obviously, I'm at hashtag as well. So that's a very good platform for me as well. Um, and just getting my face out there more and just just working with more brands obviously but predominantly as a presenter like that's the main thing so obviously you've got to always have one main thing but everything else that comes under that like voiceovers i'm a voiceover artist as well so i've done all of that stuff before and it's like i've got all the experience i just thought you know what i think it's time to start now utilizing my network and start utilizing my gifts and what i'm actually good at you know what of i mean course. so yeah man that's the next step obviously at the beginning it's like oof this is a bit heavy, it's mad, like, what I'm about to do, but I feel like it's been good, man. I feel like it's been good, and, uh, like, since I put out the presenter reel that I put out, I've had very good reception, man, very good reception. A lot of people coming coming forward, helping. Um, like, me and PK talk every day now as well, like, you know, because I, I feel like whenever you want to do something, you need to speak to people that are in that space, and those are the yeah. people you need to surround yourself with. You need to surround yourself with people that are now self-employed and full-time creators just so you start thinking that way do you know what i'm saying yeah i could try and call my boy right now bruv it's two o'clock in the afternoon my boy's gonna be at work do you know what i mean people are gonna be at work but there's people that are not that are pe- people that are like within the same mindset as me so it's about mindset as well and and channeling your mind to doing what you need to do but if you're not lazy you'll never fail man that's the way i see it if you're hungry then it's a wrap like and you just have to have a routine to your day as well, don't just get up and think, yeah, I can jump on the PlayStation uh, all day and just chill. Nah, don't work <laughs> like that, man. You've actually got to put the grind in, do you know what I'm saying? So, Especially when you've got responsibilities at, in that so, one. Exactly, but I've got a son, I've got a wife, so it's, it's, it's serious business, you know what I mean? So, can't be playing games out here, but uh, yeah, man. Nah, I hear that, I hear that, man. Brands, nah, if you're listening, get at it, man. Ten year all the time, come on, man. You know, you know you need Thank to hide you. this guy, so... Yeah, bro, thank you, my brother. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. I really appreciate you coming. No worries, on, man. Well, well, we'll do another one properly, man. Like, I'm not gonna just you get it. That's because I got meeting in a sec, but we'll do another one properly, like an hour or whatever it is. I don't know how long you normally do them for, but get we'll get we'll get down to nitty gritty because I know you got more stuff to ask me, bro. I know you, bro. I definitely do, bro. <laughs> I definitely do. Don't you worry. I'll be saving for next time, bro. <laughs> All right, bro. Well, bro. All right, we'll bro. do it soon, man. Cool. Right, Take cool. care of yourself, yeah.